Hi, this is Shade Foray with TaxSaleSupport.com. I'm here with Steven Swenson, and this is one of our Property Deal of the Week videos where we look at different uh, deals that have come through tax sales, whether they are good deals or whether they're uh, bad deals. You know, we like to, uh, to point out different aspects of the properties. Yeah, absolutely. And today we're going to be talking about a tax deed property that uh, that was sold within the last 30 days or so. And, you know, it looks like this property ended up selling for around 68000 Yeah, and actually, I, you know, actually we've got two different properties in here that we're, uh, that we're going to be looking at. Uh, we've got the first one here. So this home, yeah, sold for 68000 um, which, you know, is a fairly low price, especially for a home that looks like it's still, you know, being lived in. Um, but other things about this property, you know, it's relatively new. Um, this property, I think it was built in 1970, which we'll take a look at. And we see the assessed value on it is 134, but uh, its estimated market value is about 212,000. And so uh, they picked it up for about a third of value roughly, which is, you know, a pretty low price to pay for um, for a house this nice. It's also got a couple acres of land that are included with it. So. Uh, for being kind of a newer home, um, and uh, you know everything about this is pretty attractive. It's got a good high rent estimate as well. Well, and you can see why somebody would be willing to 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 pay up. What did it end up selling for? Just under seventy, sixty something. Yeah, 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 about yeah, sixty eight thousand. Yeah, so I mean, really, you can see why they were willing to pay up for it based on on the year it was built. Also, like Shay talked about, you know, two and you know 2.2 acres so we've got a good sized lot and as far as the rehab side of it you know we're lo not looking at a massive property you know about 1200 square feet uh two bedroom one bath and so as far as rehabbing what may or may not be needed we're not talking about a massive property as far as its, its size no and everything we can see from the outside you know i mean the roof looks like it's in decent shape it looks like it has newer vinyl windows from the outside you know although it's a little bit further out so it's kind of hard to tell um but you know the condition looks you know pretty decent from the images there that we can see about the property and so yeah i think you know everything about this property looks you know looks really pretty good um for uh for that kind of a price um and you know would be worth going after you know in fact um it, it it looks like somebody's taking care of it. Yeah, in fact, you know, as you bring that up, we're always looking at the, at the outside uh, to give us an indication of you know what the inside may look like. If the if the outside's in terrible shape, then we can guarantee the inside's going to be in good shape. Looking at the outside, having it in good shape doesn't guarantee it's going to be okay in the inside, but at least shows us that the the, the previous owner was taking care of obvious needs like something like the roof that can be one of the most costly uh, repairs that we're going to need to make if we rehab the property and we can see that the roof looks pretty nice uh, pretty new even looking at the, at the garage door uh, you know even even that looks you know um, almost like it's wood like it's kind of an I don't know if it is wood but it has kind of a nicer new look to it along with we can see having newer windows as well yeah yeah you know in fact you know it could have gone through some kind of a remodel um uh, you know more recent or maybe uh sometime after 2000 um yeah there's a lot of things about the property that are um that are very attractive um, but considering the price that they paid you know that's a good price to get into a nice single family home uh, that has the potential to bring in a couple thousand dollars a month in in rental income i mean um there's probably a hundred thousand dollars in potential profit plus on this deal so, uh, you know, and that's about as good as you can hope for. You know, there was actually, you know, there was another property was right by this, uh, it was right here that I wanted to cover because it was very similar in nature. Um, this home right here uh, sold for 80,000. So um, it sold for just a little bit more about, you know, 12, 10, 12,000 more. Uh, and it has very similar numbers as well. You know, it has an assessed value of 140,000 and an estimated market of about, 235 and a rental um, estimate of about 2400 a month so pretty good rent estimate there um you know on the property again probably one you could do maybe a hundred thousand dollars in potential profit with yeah well and really that probably comes down to the four bedrooms you know the two and a half bath uh you know 1700 square feet giving it a higher rental estimate so really that you know that that's going to be help 
in in paying this property off or even just uh, coming in and, and doing a rehab on this property and then turning around and selling it. You know, I think that there's probably, uh, you know, $80,000 plus worth of potential profit. Even if we had to go in and, and, and do a ton of rehab work on it, you would still have a huge amount of potential profit even after that uh, to resell the property. Yeah, and you know it's an older home, but from everything we can see on the outside, though all the major things uh, look like they're in decent shape. You know the roof looks like it's in decent shape. Uh, you know the uh, the the soffit around the outside of it uh, of the roof looks like it's in good shape. Uh, it was probably painted not too long ago, and and uh, and uh, you know and it's been landscaped. You know the main thing about the outside of the properties, if somebody's willing to go through the effort to keep the outside looking good, usually they, you know, they're they're going to make the effort to do, you know, to do that more important stuff on the inside. In other words, you know, if they'll do the elective stuff, then it's usually a given that they're doing the, uh, you know, the required stuff as well. You know, one thing that's kind of interesting is I assume that it probably is just a single family home, but underneath the property class description, it says two or three family residential. So it would be kind of interesting to see if it could be, you know, maybe a duplex. I, You know, it's probably not, but that's something, you know, that kind of caught my eye as I was looking at it. Yeah, like it does kind of make you wonder if, if it, you know, if it couldn't be split into two different, um, like, you know, two bedroom, two bath, you know, uh, uh you know, I don't know, apartments essentially, uh, or you know, halves of the house. Yeah, that, yeah that's well, interesting. We've seen that happen on some of these homes like this before within some of these areas where, you know, it's kind of a duplex uh, where it'll be two bedroom, one bath, and you know, maybe three bedroom, you know, one and a half bath or something similar like that. And so it could be a single family home. It's pulling up on Zillow like it is. Um, but underneath the property class, that's where we'd look into the county records and see if they have any, uh, you know, um, diagrams of, of the of the uh, the property outlines and the bedrooms. And, and, and we we'll see if we can get an idea of, of what it may be uh, as far as that's concerned. Yeah, it'd be interesting to look at the records and see if historically, you know, if they had it set up as multiple residences in the past at any point, that would be really interesting. Um, so yeah, another you know on both of these properties here, they paid about roughly you know a third of value um, for them. Um, you know both of them appear to be in usable condition. Um, you know they aren't the the newest properties, but they're also not the oldest properties that we've seen. You know they're kind of right there in the middle, and so it, it's at that point it's really all about condition and about how well somebody you know took care of it. And these properties look like in both cases like they're properties that somebody took the time to take care of. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I think that both of them do have the potential to make eighty to a hundred thousand dollars plus in potential profit. Even if we're going to be talking about rehabbing, that leaves you know between sixty to eighty thousand dollars in rehab costs, and still have a lot of potential profit. So I think that they're you know they both can be pretty good deals. And we're really what we're trying to do is acquire properties anywhere between 20 to 50 cents on the dollar, but that condition level and the property value, which it will kind of help us determine if we're gonna be paying 20 cents on the dollar, or in some cases we've seen homes that'll sell close to 45 or 50 cents on the dollar. If it goes higher than that, we're usually probably gonna walk away just because we can't, unless we can see the inside, there's still that unknown. And that's why it's so important for us to get it for a cheap, amount and in picking up these properties for 33 cents about 33 cents on the dollar they're picked up and there's still a lot of potential profit within there to fix any of the 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 rehab that is going to need to be done yeah most definitely you know there is a lot of potential profit in there at that price and is still plenty of room to fix the properties up and to be profitable still so um yeah th th these are great deals especially we love you know these ones where the properties appear like they are in usable condition or close to being usable, you know, because that's great. The less work they're going to need, um, you know, the better off you'll be, uh, you know, when you buy it. And so, uh, you know, these are some great examples and they both have good uh, potential there to make money. And, uh, and so outside of that, just the regular stuff with trying to figure out what the condition is like on the inside. So uh, we will be back with additional videos um, with more deals that you can review uh, and, uh, and, and with more, uh, with more information. So thanks so much for, uh, for your time.
And thanks again, everyone.